this stop is just downhill from our dinosaur tracks. Uh, we call this the swamp because we have a really mushy, swampy surface with a lot of plant material that we find here. You can actually see these crisscross, zigzag lines are all tree branch and root impressions from probably a storm washed up a bunch of flotsam and jetsam onto our little swampy area here. It's next to a tidal channel that we have in the rock. There's some really cool stuff that's here. First off, you'll notice these holes down here. These are not impressions made by anything prehistoric. This was 1937 road construction. Our site was discovered via road construction. Uh, when the WPA was coming through here to build Alameda Parkway over to Red Rocks Park from Denver. So we discovered a lot of really amazing things by blowing it up. These are dynamite holes. You can actually see all the lines of where the rock exploded. So this is how close we came to losing a lot of really cool fossils. It is also the reason we found a lot of really cool fossils. Uh, so we have these tree branch impressions here. One of the really neat things uh, is that we have always called this impression just above me uh, scratch marks. We didn't know what it was. We assumed they were scratch marks. We didn't know what made them. And in 2016, they made a really cool discovery in western Colorado of these big bowl shaped, just like this, a little bit larger, where there were 30 of them in an area and they were trying to figure out what they were. And it reminded them of modern day ground nesting birds. And what they do is they get, and the males will get into a little cluster, they'll all hang out and they'll do what's called a nest scrape display. It's called a lek. They'll get into a group and do these nest scrape displays to try and attract the ladies. Maybe this dinosaur is doing the same thing. We call it possible courtship dinosaur scratches where he's scratching here. You see the ridge of sand between the two feet as they're kicking at it. But we've also all seen a robin in our yard scratching for worms. So it could have been just a normal scavenging behavior. But we have this really neat scratch mark here that could have been a display feature, which is very cool. Uh, over in Western Colorado, we have over 30 of them, so it's a little bit more evidence. Here at Dinosaur Ridge, we just have the one, so it's so far. You never know what you're going to find tomorrow. But we have these really neat scratch marks of these meat-eating dinosaurs living in this swampy area next to the nice beach. So this was a little bit of a different time. Our layers here are a little lower than the ripple mark layers.